Hey y'all, it's Kathy. It's been a challenging couple of days with the Maui fires and this video is for anyone who's been impacted or saddened by those fires or any trauma you might be going through in the future. We're going to tap. In order to do that, I ask that you take full responsibility for your own well-being. And we're going to do a slightly different way. So you're going to take your hand and place it across your forehead because there are trauma neurovascular points here. So we're going to touch those and go two inches down from your collarbones and two inches over. Find an indentation and begin to rub and that should be tender. And say, even though I'm sad and devastated, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm shocked and devastated, I love and honor myself. Even though I'm sad and devastated by, in this case, the Maui fires, I love, honor, and value myself. All right, and the side of your hand, even though I'm shocked and devastated, I love and honor myself and just start to think of that huh, devastation like what is it on a scale of one to ten what is that grief for me it's a nine <laughs> all right and just begin to tap the other side thinking about that grief and devastation and take a slow breath good we're going to tap on the inner edges of the eyes grief and devastation. Make sure you're breathing. We're going to press on those trauma points lightly and tap with your thumbs. Grief and devastation. Again, any words you would describe, use to describe how you feel. Shocked, horrified, whatever they are. Now change your hand so you're again on those trauma points and tap under your eyes. Grief and devastation, just the horror of it all. Nice slow breaths and under your nose, really so, so sad. And under your mouth, make sure you're slowly exhaling and under your collarbones. Grief and devastation. We're going to keep this hand right where it is. Go under your, like right at the bra line, okay? And tap there a lot. This can be tender. If you feel like, oh yeah, this is tender, you might want to tap both sides simultaneously. Oh, there, I'm getting sort of a sigh, which means the energy is shifting, all right? We're going to continue with the hand here. Make a little beak with all your fingers and tap the crown of your head. So, so, so sad. Traumatic. Such deep loss. Really so sad. Good. Now we're going to find right between the fifth and fourth fingers, the knuckles there. You're going to tap there, put your hand on your chest or on your heart. Continue to tap. Close your eyes and open them. Okay, look down just as though you're looking down to like four on a clock. And then over to the other side, eight on the clock. And you can look up to one or two and up to 10 or 11. And now look at each number on that clock with your eyes. Your head stays very, very still. And reverse that. So the head stays still. You're just looking at each number on the clock. Close your eyes and open them. Hum happy birthday to yourself. <laughs> Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And relax for a moment. I want you to take your hand down to your solar plexus. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> I'll show you. Take your hand to your solar plexus. You're going to go take that hand over toward the right. 
as though you're making a little stirring and take the energy out of your solar plexus and release it and now um, to the left. So go in the direction that's clockwise. All right. Notice one to 10, your level of stress, sadness, devastation, and you can repeat. Okay. Use your own words, whatever words like describe the emotion for you. So as you rinse and repeat, it just digs away more layers, okay? If you find that your level of sadness elevated, it's probably because you're bringing your awareness to it. In that case, you definitely wanna tap again. And I will make another video with some different wording so that you know you can um, peel it away at different levels. My heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to Maui. It's been a challenging couple of days and re rebirth and renewal always emerges from the ashes. We may not see it yet. We may not know how, but it always does. All right. Mwah. Love from Maui, love from someone else's home. I'm not in my home yet, so, um, but we'll get there. All right, aloha.